Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the new Volkswagen ID Buzz and I want to talk a little bit about the multimedia system. I want to present you. If you have any question, I hope I will answer you in this video. So let's start. First of all, uh, we have this cockpit, the same as we have on all ID cars from Volkswagen Group. Steering wheel adjustable in the same, same time with the cockpit. That's something to keep in mind. And press the brake now the car is ready to drive you don't have to press this start uh, engine button the cockpit it's the same cockpit as on other cars It's not super customizable you can change from here different views it shows you also direction it doesn't show you a map but direction on the navigation it shows you information about how much range you have consumption and also uh, it shows you the speed and also it shows you uh, the traffic speed limit and the uh, adaptive cruise control and all that stuff on the right side here it shows you the position here is the stalk from here you change different driving position so if you want to go in drive you go up and right now you're in drive if you go one more time up you go in b mode that means regenerate more energy if you go backward you go in reverse and the car comes with a reverse camera it doesn't come with a 360 degrees camera but it comes with a reverse camera the thing is that i have to put my seat belt in order <laughs> to show you the <laughs> reverse camera because it will not stay in reverse if you don't have the seat belt now going in reverse you can see the camera it doesn't have the best resolution It's the same camera as volkswagen use it on other cars they don't focus too much on resolution uh, on the camera because they focus on many other things and it's more than enough you have good visibility in the back you have the hook view you have also the side view it's some something it's in behind there it will also help you brake if you go in reverse and you don't see it you have this blind spot in the back there so this is great and the parking it's here parking and this is all guys uh, this is simple the cockpit nothing complicated there going to the multimedia this is the most important thing right here visibility is fine and i like the fact that they put it flat here it's not tilted to the driver in the bus it's understandable and it's good like that you have shortcut buttons down here you have park uh, button you have um, climatic shortcut assistant and mode uh, if you go to park button that means you have this parking assist and it's really really useful and uh, it's great from Volkswagen it works really good I tested before then you have the climatic system and get you directly to the climatic system uh, and here you can turn it on just like that now the climatic system is on you can use it manually like that you can choose the van speed from here and you can also use it on auto from here medium high or low depend how you like to have the climatic and also you have different shortcuts you have heated steering wheel heated seat for you and the passenger the temperature from here you can change it very very simple just like that uh, then you have even the air care in the car this is also a great feature to have it that clean up the, the air a little bit this is great 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 uh, classic view and then you have the smart climatic system this is great because all you have to do is just press a shortcut button and the car will do the job for you for example if you are very cold you want rapid heating you just press this button if you have if you want rapid cold you, have, you press this one cool my feet warm my hands all those shortcuts just press it and the car will do the job for you uh, and if you want to close the climatic system it's simple you just go here boom and now it's closed go to assistant down here and then those are the most um, uh, the the safety settings of the car and here you have the travel assist for example you can activate the assistant lane change this is also interesting we will see in the test drive check out the test drive to see how it works adaptive cruise control from here you can choose the distance close very close far away uh, medium uh, and then you have also a few other uh, settings here then you have the speed limiter the lane assist you can activate deactivate the side assist kind of the blind spot activate deactivate dynamic road sign display driver alert echo assist front assist emergency assist all that safety features you can activate it and deactivate it from here very simple and the last one is the mode the driving mode the car come with four driving modes echo comfort sport and individual and all these driving modes can be configured depend the way you want to configure it and in, on the individual you just go like here and then let me go back you go just like here and you can customize all different modes depend how you want it and this is really the steering and also the drive this is cool this is very simple very cool then going forward you have the blinkers here you have also the controllers for the volume and for the climatic system down there and also here is the home page on the home page you have two pages here here you have also the consumption 
you can see the consumption of the car and also you have the settings uh, the media and the help and on this first page you have navigation charging telephone and uh, multimedia system and here if you go to navigation it's 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 really good they improve a lot the navigation is the latest technology the latest navigation from volkswagen group it's uh, relatively responsive I don't have to complain about that it shows you also until where you can drive this is great on the map it shows you a nice map uh, how many kilometers and until where you can drive with this battery that you have it right now and also the great part is that when you choose a destination like for example now it's in Stuttgart you can see that the car is it shows you you drive until here and then you stop here you can see on the map you stop right here and then you charge it right here in this uh, moment and you charge it for around 17 minutes and then you can drive uh, away this is great the same as tesla do uh, now we have also this on the volkswagen cars and this is a great great feature and i like that and also it shows you how many hours you have to drive and this is super useful then you have the settings of the navigation route guidance navigation functions and all that settings uh, that you find it here this is super super cool navigation system now going back to home and if you press one more time here it will get you to the menu this is the main menu of the car where you find all the settings like telephone radio navigation the vehicle and if you go to the vehicle here you have a lot of settings about the car like the exterior settings you can see here uh, for example the headlights if you go to headlights you can adjust and um, change different settings like dynamic uh, light assist dynamic cornering light you have uh, automatic headlights control in rain convenience turning signals all those you can activate deactivate from here comfort light here you can choose the exit light duration you can choose the light animation on it has a nice animation on outside the tail light animation one you have a few animation one two three uh, really really cool uh, I will try to show you now it's daytime I will try to show you in a future video turning signal dynamic you can choose how you like to have the turning signals the mirrors the same story you have another page where you have the brakes you can on the brakes um, set up the auto hold you can activate or deactivate then you have easy opening for the hook you have a hook in the back you can open from here center locking window settings service position wipers this is cool all those settings you go in the interior then you have the cockpit settings you have the id light settings from here you can choose the brightness uh, the basic functions and navigation infotainment system lights this is really interesting pulsing in standby charging fall alert all that stuff uh, for the light that you have it in behind this the, the cockpit there the dashboard the seat settings you have it here then you have also the interior light settings and the cockpit you can choose from here the brightness really nice then you have go to status you can see if the car have some errors and then you go to data here on the data you can see also the data of the car the consumption start since start long term and then you have since charging really interesting then you have also the charging here on the charging you have battery care i really recommend you to activate this because the car will stop to 80 percent to somehow help you not broke the battery in time so it's recommended to charge the car until 80 percent so i really really recommend you that and then you can save the location here of the charging so this is really useful then you have the app connectivity you can connect android and apple carplay wireless and i will show you that in a future video so subscribe to the channel to see when that video will come out then here you have the sound settings the focus all that settings of the sound are here very easy to adjust very simple on the second page you have the background light here on the background light you have beautiful colors one of the most beautiful colors Volkswagen use it so you have infinity eternity desire euphoria and vitality colors beautiful colors I love them and also you can go to individual so you can individualize those colors if you want to then on the second page you have also the uh, schedule climatic system great for um, winter time settings of the car those are basic settings that you find it in all the cars from Volkswagen like language change time uh, units change like kilometer miles Fahrenheit and all that uh, information Wi-Fi device information copyright and all that important settings are there and then you have the driver assist that you already see it and then we have also the legal ID software and overall this this all those are the settings and this is the multimedia system 
um, it's nothing um, different than the other ID cards. Uh, you have also connectivity to the internet, it will show you here on the side. And yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I like it. I have to say that I like it. You can also adjust the climatic system, very simple. It's a nice one, it's much more responsive than before. They also improved the uh, processor and the memory behind it. So it's much better. So that was the multimedia system from the new ID Buzz. I hope it was useful, the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, also, if you want to see the test drive and the review with the car, check it out on the channel. Probably they are already there. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.